afternoon, all my Rural Xers out there. This is Eric, the Rural Xer, here with you on this beautiful, beautiful Monday afternoon, late in the afternoon, about uh, 15 till 5 uh, after I've gotten off work and uh, just decide I want to go riding around a little bit and, and uh, check on a billing that I've kind of kept my eye on for the past uh, several weeks, several days anyway. Anyway, this is a beautiful day, uh, a little bit blustery out there as far as the wind because it's blowing in a cold front that um, the temperature is going to be mod moderating quite extensively uh, in the next uh, 12 to mm, 24 hours, sometime tonight early wee hours of the morning, uh, we're supposed to be getting down into the uh, 30s around here. Um, high 30s uh, towards the metropolitan part of Atlanta, probably in the mid 30s, uh, maybe even see some, um, uh, possibly some um, freezing temperatures up here in the mountains uh, where I live at. Uh, up in Pickens County, but right now we are at the Old Shoney's in Canton, Georgia. And this was originally built as um, a Shoney's years ago, probably back in the mm, set, late 70s, maybe early 80s. I don't know, it's been around quite a while. And uh, it was quite a popular restaurant back then before a lot of the other restaurants got built out on uh, Riverstone uh, just a few miles from here. Uh, out towards 575 whenever it came through and I think that probably had something to do with why it um, lost business and ended up going out of business. Um, I think sometime in the mid to late 90s or early 2000s it actually went out of business. Uh, the building sat empty for a little while and I think another restaurant came in and uh, put in a I think it was a possibly a Chinese buffet restaurant is what I think it was. And I, I think it stayed there for several years. Right now though, in October, 2022, it is sitting here completely empty and abandoned. The power is still on, um, although there's not really anything going on. The, uh, I have noticed that there's a dumpster sitting out here. It's been sitting out here for uh, quite a long time. It looks like just mostly bushes and, and debris, stuff like that has been thrown in there, not so much trash, but uh, outdoor debris, limbs and, and uh, stuff like that, bushes, it look like they might have been cutting down bushes around here or something um, and thrown in there, but um, uh, we'll take a look at it, but uh, figured we might do a little bit of exploring around here just to take a look at this place and, and uh, document it before they completely change it or do whatever they're going to do to it. And I have no idea uh, what they're planning on doing to it, if anything. Uh, at the moment, it's sitting uh, abandoned and empty. So why don't we uh, go and explore around just a little bit on the outside and see what we can find. Uh, come and join me, if you will. Well, folks, let's try take two. <laughs> uh, this is your old Canton Shoney's. And the reason I'm having to take another stab at this, <laughs> take another take of it, is because I had the uh, white balance setting on my camera set wrong. I had it set to tungsten and it was making everything bluish color. So I decided while I was here, uh, after viewing the footage that I had gotten on my camera, I decided to go ahead and do it again while I was here. So here it is. Uh, so we're going to walk back up here and look inside like we did before. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this should be much better footage than the other one because it would, it would have had a very deep bluish tint to it, unfortunately. And so hopefully... So this looks like it's going to be or was going to be a possibly a um, convenience store of some sort because there's coolers in there. Don't know exactly what it was being made into. It looks like the work has come to a halt. But it looks like there was a, a uh, snack counter, something back there on the back wall. I'm looking on around. 
can see it looks like a counter maybe where they were going to put the cash registers where you checked out at. Again, I really don't know. I don't know if this was going to be a restaurant or what. I'll try to block out some of that so you can see back in there towards that wall and all. Sorry about my hand being in the way, but I've tried to block some of that glare out. But as you can see, that's so interesting. Looks like diamond plate on the wall right there. That is very interesting. I like that. But you can see coolers back over there, like it is in a convenience store. Looks like they've done a lot of work on the flooring and stuff. Got LED lighting, you know. But let's take a walk on around the side of the building again. All right, here's the side of the building. I can't get too much further back because if I do, um, I'm gonna be catching the sun. It's gonna be glaring in the lens, so you won't be able to see anything. So this is the side of the building. Looks like they've kept the bushes cut back pretty good over here. But as you can see, the, the power is still on. Uh, all the lights are still on and everything, as were the ones inside. So we'll take a walk on around the back side of the building. Not really a whole awful lot to see. I've already been back there one time and looked at it. But um, yeah, if I had my, if I was using my phone camera, I could get a much wider shot, but I like using my big camera, my Canon EOS M50. It does a pretty good job, I just have to get the settings right. Sometimes I forget some of the settings, like the white balance, and so um, end up having to take a re reshoot of it. Reshoot of it, excuse me, can't talk. As you can see, sun's real pretty through the trees right there. But uh, not really much going on back here, just main, plain white building, a couple of uh, doors back here, electrical and mechanical. And I apologize if the wind is, if the microphone is picking up the wind. I do have the, um, the foam wind buffer on the lavalier mic. Of course, this is just a power cabinet there, probably where the power comes in at from underground, inside the building. All the lights are on back over here. Looks like a couple of, or a window at least, uh, uh, original window that was left from the, um, from the old Shoney's restaurant. And that, when it was originally built, I think a lot of the windows though had been, had been taken out to redesign it. They might have done that for the restaurant that was here before. And we're back around at the front of the building. And as you can see, there's a lot of debris and stuff that's in that dumpster over here. What I saw on the top was the um, limbs and stuff over there, the uh, br brush, I should say. Made me think all it, that's all it was, was brush, but it looks like a lot of other trash and stuff like that. So anyway, turn around here and give you one last look at the old Shoney's and you can see that it is definitely looks like the old Shoney's. The design of the building is still the same even though they've changed the color paint brick and all. But there's your Canton Shoney's. Well, folks, that was a look at your old Canton, what originally was built as Shoney's Restaurant. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little exploration around this building as it stands now. Of course, it's not and has not been uh, a Shoney's Restaurant in a number of years. Um, it was actually used as a restaurant of some sort 
uh, several years ago, but um, I think maybe COVID might have gotten it. I don't know. I really don't know, but it looks like they're or were in the process of turning this into some sort of a convenience store. Uh, I'm not really sure what they what their intentions were for it. Uh, but looks like they've cleaned up the place on the inside pretty good and, and changed it over and all and, and changed the outside quite a bit. But again, I really don't know what they were planning on doing with it. Uh, but I, I tell you one thing about this place back when it was still a Shoney's, uh, they actually had really good food, especially their breakfast bar. Now, I've come down here several times and ate at the breakfast bar uh, back when it was still open. Back, I, I guess it was probably still open maybe in the, um, well, at least late 90s. I don't know if it was still open as late as the early 2000s. I really couldn't tell you. Uh, this was actually back before uh, I moved down here into this area. I don't live in Cherokee County. I actually live in Pickens County, but uh, we do come down here and eat quite a few of the restaurants around uh, the uh, Cherokee County area. But I can't remember off the top of my head if this place was actually still open back in the early 2000s when I moved down here. I actually moved down into the area uh, in Pickens County uh, back in 2000, uh, very first day of 2000. But anyway, going back to what I was talking about, um, the place really had good food, as I remember. I've always enjoyed uh, Shoney's restaurants and, and all of their food. They had a lot of uh, uh, a good variety of food. They had seafood. Uh, they had uh, a certain amount of steaks. Um, they had uh, home-cooked meals and stuff like that. It was, it was definitely a, a family restaurant. It wasn't one of these uh, casual sit-down restaurants where they have a bar and they serve mixed drinks and beer and wine and stuff. It was, it was definitely uh, more of a family-oriented type restaurant and all um, back in those days. Now, I think the few that um, might still be open these days, uh, I know there was one that I've ate at a few times down there at Ackworth uh, near I-75. It actually did serve uh, beer and wine and had mixed drinks and stuff, but they also had the uh, uh, food bar back then too. But I think it's, uh, I've heard that it's since closed down. Um, I can't tell you, I can't verify that myself because I haven't been down there, but I, I have no reason to doubt it because uh, that comes from very uh, good sources and all that says that um, the place is shut down now. Again, unfortunately, a lot of the uh, Shoney's restaurants around uh, have shut down. I think there is still one over in the Cartersville area down there just off of um, Highway 20 near where it crosses I-75 uh, coming from Canton. But um, I had never been in that one and ate at that one uh, since it's been open, since I've been around the area, although I ought to. But anyway, getting back to this one, I, I do remember coming down here and eating at this one several times, and it was a very good restaurant, and uh, I really enjoyed it, and I hate to see them gone. Um, you know, Shoney's as a restaurant is just about completely gone. It's a thing of the past, unfortunately, like a lot of the restaurants and all. But um, anyway, I hope you've been really enjoyed this uh, video this exploration. If you did, please give it a, a like, a thumbs up, and um, uh, if you want more content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, with that said, I'm going to get on out of here and get on home. So have a great evening, God bless, and we'll see you in my next video.